take one extra special rowboat. This boat is awesome. We do have the world's most technologically advanced rowing boat. Add in four men with matching jackets and varying skill sets. I'm the fixer and the guy who works all the technology. I'm the passionate one. I'm the easygoing rookie and uh, have very little rowing experience. My name is Adam Creek. I'm the, the chief cook, head musician, and inspirational team member. <laughs> then contemplate their common goal. For this experience around Vancouver Island, the first thing I'm looking forward to is not dying. Uh, the second thing I'm looking forward to is, is trying to figure out what's going to work and what's not going to work and finding a way to uh, troubleshoot so we'll be uh, ready for the Atlantic. That's right. The Ore Northwest team will spend the next two to three weeks rowing around Vancouver Island before they row across the Atlantic Ocean. All done in the aforementioned extra special rowboat. Well, the boat is, is 29 feet long, 6 feet wide. The living space on deck is about 6 feet by 15 feet, with a smaller triangular shaped cabin down below. You spend all your time close to these guys, so everything, nothing is private. No privacy from each other or from the natural curiosity that surrounds a trip as physically extreme as the CWF Salish Sea Expedition. I'm surprised nobody's asked me, how do we go to the bathroom? Honestly. So, when asked... There's this bucket, and it, it says, uh, do it best. It's, uh, it's like a type of hardware store. Um, and uh, you go to the bathroom in the bucket. Not fancy, but functional. Still plenty of bells and whistles to float this research boat. We do have the world's most technologically advanced rowing boat. That's because it's a research vessel. And it, it, we have a very unique perspective of the ocean. One, because we're very close to the water. And two, because uh, we move so slow. They'll be gathering data from measuring temperature and chlorophyll content to dragging for plastics in the water to using a hydrophone to listen for whales, even catching fish. Recording that and eating the fish. <laughs> I got my fishing license. It's not just the scientific community that will benefit from this research, but also kids all over North America who'll be following the journey online. I think for youth to be able to share that trip around Vancouver Island in the adventure. We don't know what's going to happen when they're out there. We don't know what they're going to see. What we do know is that today's launch of the Salish Sea Expedition coincides with the launch of the 13th annual Get to Know Contest and the CWF's 50th birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday CWF. Making each of those milestones even more meaningful. Launch that boat! Launch that boat! Anybody can just go for a row and have go for an adventure, but I think it's really important about telling a story afterwards and connecting with kids. Oh It'll be an adventure and the and we'll be able to tell a really good story about it too. Oh, we've got it! There they go! In Vancouver, I'm Johanna Ward for Shaw TV.